It's all connected. 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 And I am here with my lovely co-host. And you survived another week, Grimnir. We did, and 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 apparently the the world has changed. The world That's has changed. Wow. Eh, not so much. <laughs> but oh. yeah, yeah, the, it's, it's all new and different now because we we have uh, we a had, new there, administration. There, there was an election. Well, I, I I don't think I'd go so far as. To call this a new administration, and uh, well, none of that's actually real yet, not finalized yet. <laughs> but do you feel administered, though? Uh, no more than I did a week ago. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah. Do you like these handlers better than the old ones? I I, I don't really care. No. I it, it makes no difference to me. In any way whatsoever, <laughs> I don't, I, I, and and as our our show title for today should tell you, provided by Miss Circle, it doesn't matter which head is on the puppet. No, it doesn't. <laughs> no, it doesn't. No. no. So uh, it, it's except uh, though that uh, th you know they they really got to come up with new shit for next time though. Well, I, what else could they come up with? Juggling monkeys or... Uh, white old guy, you know. Yeah, yeah, white old... It's been used. It's been used. White old guy versus white old guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, we did have white um, old woman. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah. And we yeah. may have her again. I yeah. mean... It, and then it, we had young brown guy. Young brown guy, younger brown guy, still not young, but he was young. He had like well, you know, in comparison, but he was still old. I mean, he was still fifty or something. Yeah, but he had beautiful hands, though. Beautiful what? Hands. Hands. Obama's hands. Yeah, when he spoke, those hands and the long fingers just mesmerizing. Uh, I, I guess I miss that. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah, so, uh, right. And he was only half black, right? Half? I don't, it, because that's where the whole race thing gets weird to me. Well, apparently his mother was white, according to everything I've heard. And Yeah, and, but, uh, it, you know, how half-half are you going to go? I don't know. Because I don't think there are any, you know, white, white people left in. I don't. Probably not. I don't know. Maybe there are some. <laughs> I'm never. You know, are there black black people left? Probably. You know, go down to Africa, Nigeria, somewhere. And mm. I, I I don't know. There's probably some black black people down there. Mm. I, I guess. Yeah. I, I I mean I I don't know. Like in the U S. If anybody stayed uh, pure of breed. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you mean inbred, though, right? <laughs> oh, 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 yeah, that, that would, same. That'd be the royal, the royals. They're the even the royals here are uh, taking a generation um, of you know uh, getting kids outside of the bloodlines. Well, that's probably a you know necessary thing because they they get yeah they all married non royals. I mean, once once you're always marrying within the family, it you know it's it's like. Arkansas. <laughs> well, you know, because like, so white supremacists, that, you know, by uh, as a you know as a default, if you have a white bloodline, though, wouldn't it be inbred? Well, a white bloodline from like what the Caucasus? Yeah. I mean, they're they're the ones that that went over and took over Europe, right? If, if you had, if, if you only had like that in your bloodline and no mixed whatsoever, 
Yeah, I, I doubt there's anybody much left like that now. I, <laughs> yeah. I don't know. So if we're going to go down this racist route, are we going to all be like, um, you know, just have a sticker on where everybody can see our DNA um, composition? So what do you? Yeah, well, I I'm hope not. One I mean, third well, what, 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 what? what <laughs> uh, 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 quoting, quoting Hillary. What difference at this point does it make? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And you know, it's going to be a good show when you're quoting Hillary. Oh boy, I tell you, because <laughs> uh, she is awesome and amazing. Oh, she's she's just uh, so wonderful. Yeah. 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 Could you think you could have survived if Hillary, you know, would your ego and your vanity, would that have survived if Hillary had represented you for four years? Well, none of them represent me, but um, I, I could have survived. I would have hated it because I just can't stand her voice. <laughs> and and that, that, so, that's really all it came down to me, uh, down to for me with, with Hillary is that freaking voice, man. She's like a. A harpy, a cackling witch. I, I don't know. She's just a horrible person. Um, and so, I mean, I don't really care. Uh, Trump, I, I wanted Trump then uh, just because he's funnier, you know. Um, and, and but he pouts, though. He does he's got pout. That really but, annoying. But he pout. makes up funny names for people. Yeah, and he, he and he, yeah, he and, and he calls out. Oh, I don't. You know, you're a you're a. I don't know what he called different people. All kinds of names. <laughs> But, <laughs> yeah. but again, yeah. Um, yeah. so for for me that was the only difference, uh, which which I you know for this time, um, Biden's voice Biden could be funny, I mean because he's so de delusional he's he's got dementia, uh, so he could be funny. I and don't, he speaks I, like that. He he speaks in a he says dude and man and he's like really low key though. But I, I don't think he's as funny as Trump, but uh, he could be funny, you know. <laughs> yeah, he, he, how are you going to be funnier than Trump? I, you know, it's hard to imagine, hard to imagine. I mean, okay, Berlusconi was it, but you people didn't really follow Berlusconi, though. No, I am. Like I said, we don't speak Italian here, so. No. So I, I guess some people do, but the majority of people do not speak Italian, or the majority of Americans don't speak anything other than Americanized English. Yeah, because he just, whenever he got caught stealing or being really corrupt, Berlusconi, he just changed the law so that it would be legal. Yeah, well, yeah, I, 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 <laughs> it was the same for like Dilma uh, Rousseff <laughs> down there in Brazil. <laughs> yeah, she, she did the same crap. And well, you know, all of them, you know, they're all pretty much totalitarian, fascists, whatever you want to call them. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so anyway, hey, by the way, howdy, all you folks over there in the chat, or anybody else listening on the stream out there, wherever you may be. Good to have you here with us today, tuned in. And can we not just officially? Say congratulations to Chloe and Trust Number One and um, Anti for the glorious victory. Your asshole won the election. <laughs> well, I uh, I think we got to put that on hold. I, I don't think it's uh, I don't think it's. No, uh, come on. No, no, I'm putting it on hold. I, I don't. I, I'm waiting for the court battles. I, I love I love to see the court battles. Oh, they're going to be here, but um, they're not going to change the whole thing. It's it's official. Uh, yeah, no, it's not. It's not official. But we the people heard it on the TV. I know, I know. And if you look at any of your uh, social media sites, if you post something about election fraud, they give you a big warning. Oh, that that's in dispute about the election fraud. Uh, or <laughs> <laughs> even even over there, uh, which cracked me up when, when I was looking at the uh, video that, that you put up there earlier. The, the Larkin Rose on the U.S. elections. Um, yeah. <laughs> they, YouTube, they have this, this thing uh, underneath the video. Robust safeguards help ensure the integrity of elections and results. And they got to click uh, a thing here. Learn more. Click here. And if I if you click there, uh, it, it, it's protect 2020 rumor versus reality. And it's like, reality? <laughs> uh, uh. What so, a dangerous discourse, though, right? Oh, man, I tell you. Yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> so uh, so so they 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 push hard to make sure well, whatever their agenda is is the only thoughts that are believed or believable, uh, even though that's not actually the case or not true. Um, and, 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 you know, if you, if you have no core, though, right? NLP is gonna, you know, probably fuck you up and get you to sway about everything if you have no core to hold you. you right. Know, and and for those of you, and for those of you out there that don't know what NLP stands for, it's neuro linguistic programming. Uh, it's kind of it's a a low level brainwashing is, is what it is, and and they do that through repetition and denial of of whatever the opposition to their point of view is. Uh, Wording and, and rhetoric. Oh, it's it's very tricky. It's it's very positive enforcement language and everything you do. It, it's it's a very tricky little thing, but uh, that that is what you're all being. Everybody's uh, probably globally, I guess I would say U.S., but globally being subjected to various levels of neuro linguistic programming. Uh, they'll they'll slip in words. I, I used to talk about this all the time back on my old RLM news show. I don't know if you remember mm. that show or not. It might have, might have been before your time being here. It was way before me because I'm well, not way before, but. Seven years old. <laughs> but but I used to go, I used to go. I just pick out news stories and I'd go through them and and break down the NLP and each of the because all the articles have them, all all the various different news stories. Uh, uh, yeah, exactly. Uh, Rob Works has pointed out here in the chat one yeah. example of the NLP. Is how they always put the word baseless in front of the election fraud claims. Exactly, it's huge. It, it's a monstrous. But they did, you know, uh, you know, when when they created the, the term conspiracy theorist, that was massive NLP right there. Mm. So uh, hang on one second here. Okay, I had to do a I had to do a Corona cough, so I muted. Um, <laughs> Ooh, not a Corona cough. Yeah. Oh, by the yeah, they they put out the uh, the the study today, or the whatever you want to call it, the results of of their vaccine trials, uh, Pfizer, um, uh, saying that they are ninety percent effective now on their on the on the on the Corona Bologna vaccine. Which is another example of NLP, all the numbers. Oh, it's crazy, yeah. The, 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 it's insane. Uh, it and is. the way they word it, because so, I've been reading about that vaccine all day, and they're now like wording like a fast process as a good thing? Apparently, yeah. Yeah, the the faster you get it through with the less testing possible, <laughs> <laughs> that's the best. Fuck? Anyway, so after after I saw that over on the Market Watch site when I was checking the because I seen the thing about the stocks jumping up, and I looked over there, and the Dow Jones was up like twelve hundred points, which is big. That's big for a day. Um, anyway, so I, so I went back over to Twitter, and I noticed this thing on the side there uh, showing that Pfizer says this is not any part of Trump. Don't give Trump any credit for this. We didn't yeah, join. We it. didn't join the the Trump fast, rapid, whatever. <laughs> Um, <laughs> so, so just because we came up with this right after the election and coronavirus will go away, which apparently I heard something on some radio show, I forget where, um, today, uh, that, uh, that apparently, um, CNN had always, since the Corona Bologna started, uh, had this, this crawl or something at the bottom of their screen showing you all the crazy, uh, numbers about the Corona. Just pumping those numbers into people's brains, keeping that fear going. Mm. Those are gone. They're gone now. Yeah, remember how the Ebola got, uh, how we got over the Ebola? Uh, no, I don't actually remember how, how we did that. I don't. No, do you know how we did that? The media decided with a date to stop covering it, and Ebola went away. Yeah. Uh, okay. So apparently now Corona's gone away because it's yeah, not. They're it's gonna, not they're not yeah. there pushing those numbers out, and <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's just and it'll be. I mean, just if you if you don't have a core that you know to be some sort of value and that you hold to be your truth, the NLP is going to rock you all over, man. Oh right, and, and it, it may anyway. Even if you do have a core, because I mean, if you get barraged with it. Enough, over and over yeah. again. Yeah. You may start questioning 
uh, uh, what you thought was real and true and, and knew to be true. And you, because and, you start adopting the language. At, and once you start using the language of what they're using, you're going to adopt the way they think. That's the whole neuro-linguistic programming is the usage of language to program your own brain. Right, right. To to um, to adjust its behavior. So it's the use of, of language and lingo and repetition of language and reinforcement of language to program different parts of your brain into altering your actions or your preferences or your beliefs. Yeah. That's what they're doing. Yeah, it's, that's why they. That's why it's called programming, neuro linguistic programming. Yeah. You're programming your brain to believe as they wish. Yeah. <laughs> now, uh, let, let me let me ask you this: Are, are you familiar with the uh, the story Brave New World? Uh no. Okay. I don't think so. It, it's an Aldous Huxley thing, anyway. Uh, I'll give you a link if you want to watch the movie. It's a three hour movie. Um, oh goody! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so I watched I watched it the other night. Uh, I never I've never read the book, but I watched this movie the other night. It's on YouTube. It's posted, It's up on. So YouTube. It's like an epic drama and build up and large music and stuff. Because I don't. No, no, movie. no, 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 not okay. so much of that. Uh, anyway, the story was written back in the 1930s uh, hmm? by this guy Huxley, and and uh, there's been I guess several adaptations. Uh, uh, you know, uh, film adaptations of the book. Uh, but it's very interesting because in, in <laughs> that uh, uh, there's a constant barrage of NLP uh, going through the people's heads. But the people are all created to fit a certain purpose, and there's different classes of them, alphas being the top, betas being the next mm -hmm. level down, uh, and, and go, going through the various ones. Um, yeah. And then they all... Uh, take this stuff, this drug called soma, uh, which, uh, which if if you looked at Brave New World versus 1984, it's it's the carrot versus the stick, um, mm. it, 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 for for these dystopian futures. Uh, <laughs> so uh, in in the Brave New World, it's all carrot. Anything you want, you can have. Uh, immediately they provide it for you. They give you anything. And everybody's happy, happy, happy to do their job, and they they you know have a little jingle to go along with it and uh, get you tuned into their way of thinking, um, <laughs> which versus in, but of course the language is all fit to uh, their agenda, which is the same as in 1984. The language is reconstructed to fit the agenda. Um, <laughs> so, but, but they use, they use the stick in 1984 where they'll, they'll beat you down, do terrible things to you. If, if mm -hmm. your brain is not, if you have wrong think, um, <laughs> but you see language is also, it's a really strong thing, you know, it's weaved into our minds. So it's such a big part of who we are. Right. Right. And we do become the stories we tell about ourselves. Sure. Which is pretty much what this is all about, the stories we keep telling. You know, we, we it's it's funny because, um, and I will recommend this, and I think you're going to put it in the link, right? Mm. But um, Largan Rose just did a commentary of the Joe Biden speech, and um, it's it's worth watching. I'll, I'll say that. <laughs> but he points out so much of the wording, right? Right, right. I mean. Oh, yeah. So like some. So, because the agreed upon a reality is that uh, Donald Trump is a psycho, <laughs> insane psycho uh, maniac, right? Right. Yeah, sure. Which I'm sure he is. Um, but well, the I, story I, is that Joe Biden isn't. <laughs> I, I, I mean, if you, if you think about it real, realistically and you look back through all the various other people that have ran for or become – uh, president of this lovely land of the United States. Um, yes. They're all psychos. Every one of them is a psycho. And, 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 yeah. and, and, and <laughs> <laughs> it's not secluded to Donald Trump. No, no. He's just one in a long, in a big club of, of psychos. Yeah, they're freaking narcissists and, and, and uh, they think that they have a way. They can cure whatever ails everybody. Uh, if everybody would just listen to them and follow their way of thinking, 
everything would be wonderful. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. But uh, anyway, you don't but, want to do that. Disclaimer: Don't do that. Don't do what? What's the disclaimer? Don't don't do what the politicians tell. Don't live your life after what the politicians. Oh, tell. don't 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 do that. Yeah. No, don't yeah. do that. But b- back to our uh, our topic, which is it, it, don't do- matter. it doesn't matter which head is on the puppet, something like that. I'm no, not it sure. doesn't. So it I, doesn't. So you can plug in. They could have put in a pet rock or a a Rubik's cube. <laughs> they could have <laughs> a big a, giant meteor. A, 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 a trained monkey. A trained monkey would have done a great job uh, uh, as president because all they got to do is sit there and wait for their orders to come down from the actual masters, uh, which are the global bank, banking cartel. Um, mm. Those are those are the people really running the show. So you can put in whichever goofball, ass hat, monkey face guy you want in there. Uh, at this point in time, Trump or Biden, uh, you, you know, it's 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 a flip of a coin, one or the other. It, it makes no difference. They sit there, they wait for the for the orders to come down on high, from on high, and then and then they they tell those orders out just like any shamwow salesman. You familiar with that guy, shamwow? No. Oh. <laughs> but I'm figuring. I'm guess. I'm getting. No, I got the point though. Yeah, it's I'm one, getting. It's, it's, one know, of those, uh, it's just an actor. Uh, yeah, the, the, the late night infomercials t- telling you all about the wonderful stuff you'll get for only nineteen ninety five. But wait, there's more. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. we had yeah. those. Oh, I'm sure. We had some of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so, so that, that's all those guys are. That's all the president is. Is he's one of those guys. And uh, people, yeah. people think they're they're voting for somebody to be in charge. Uh, which, of course, you never vote for who's in charge. You never know who's in charge. You don't see those people's names or faces. You'll you'll never know who they are, the ones that are actually running the show. Um, no. So, uh, but but you get to vote for for, for the MC, I guess, if you if you want to look That's at it. That's a smoke screen. It, it, the it, whole voting thing is just a smoke screen. That's a decoy. It's, it's called it's, gambit or something like that, right? What'd you call I'm it? not a chess player, but it's a gambit. A gambit? I'm not sure what that is. Well, that's a chess move, right? Where you sacrifice something that looks important only to get a position in some game. And the opponent thinks that he, you know, that he, you know, you, you sacrifice some important piece to get a position and the opponent thinks that he took it from you and that he, he's ahead. Okay, so the, the definition from Vanna is a noun, an opening in chess in which a player risks one or more minor pieces, usually a pawn, in order to gain a favorable position. Yeah, okay. Yeah, Gambit. That sounds good. You pretend that you won something while you're not seeing the positions that was taken from you, right? Right. And that's a good good, uh, analogy there because basically we're all pawns, right? And, and, And they don't mind sacrificing us at all. Um. No, 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 no. It doesn't matter. It it doesn't matter. It might matter in some. I don't know how. Because this is, you know, I have no idea how actually satanic, occult, and fucked up these people are. But one thing is very clear to me: it's a very old bloodline. There, it, we're dealing with some very old traditions. Oh yeah. And I don't know how how nasty and deep and dark and shadowy they are. How much you know. How decadent <laughs> these people are! <laughs> I don't know, but but um, I would say you, you know maybe they're even like thinking they're doing satanic shit, and somehow all their symbolism matters. You don't know, right? Well, I mean, it all goes back to uh, ancient Egypt. I'm pretty sure. Uh, I think that's the uh, the source of. Uh, I mean, you could follow the bloodlines from ancient Egypt. Uh, through the royalty of of uh, London or I mean uh, England, um, and and they have the same symbology, which of course that symbology flows through also to the United States. Even though the United States is much younger, they they still have the same symbology going on uh, in the United States, uh, whether it be the uh, the obelisks like the the uh, Washington Monument or the, on the money they got the all seeing eye on there. 
uh, in the pyramid, of course. These people are so nasty and inbred and psycho and retarded that who knows if for some reason Joe Biden's full name in Egyptian spells out something that means something that has a value in them. Who knows how sick these fucks are? Well, and part of, part of that is why I wonder uh, whether or not Biden will actually be selected there because of the fact that um, I, I know that, that Trump and his bloodlines go back to, to these people. I don't know that Biden's do. Um, uh, so if Biden if Biden's bloodlines don't go back to, to, to some of these Egyptian people, uh, then it's possible he, he will not be selected. And so uh, that's uh, because I think every president, maybe, maybe not JFK, um, uh, all went back there. Uh, all, mm. all, went, all can be traced back. Uh, to this, to the same bloodlines. Because I'm, I'm gonna go. These people, though, the, the nasty fuck tarts, right? Yeah. They don't, they don't really care if it's religion or, or um, ideology or um, uh, bureaucracy or whatever. They're, you know, corporatism. What kind of nasty ass shit they're gonna use to control us? They can play on all those horses, right? Oh yeah, they do, and, and they uh, they'll make you believe whatever is good or bad for you uh, to the to their own desires to fit their their needs at that point in time. Um, yeah. <laughs> so uh, yeah, but they're, they're sick though. Oh, they're very sick. Yeah, oh, they're they're the dark, twisted. <laughs> beings I, I hate to even call them human um because i'm not i'm not even sure they are um no uh, me neither i don't know yeah yeah so yeah so again you know pick, you pick whatever puppet you want um and and just ignore the person with his hand up the puppet or the guy holding the strings depending on which kind of puppet you got um <laughs> but I do understand the, the and and this takes us to topic number 2, right? I do understand the vanityness of it. Oh, I can, I can understand the whole um uh how horrible it must, you know, how horrible it can feel for somebody like Donald Trump to just say he represents you. I can understand why that would be. Um, well, you know, I think they actually believe a lot of their own nonsense. Uh, I think they, yeah. they they actually think that they they are there they're trying to do good for you some of them uh, I mean uh, with with somebody like Biden who's been in the politics for so long eh, hard to say I, I mean he's he's been you know gaining uh, a lot of profit uh, from all of his his years there in, in the various uh, positions that he's been in in politics um, so he's yeah. he's probably more about that than 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 trying to actually represent you, but he wants you to believe he's there to represent you. Um, but I understand the vanity aspect of it, though. Sure, sure. It's cringy. I can understand why you cringe to have, you know, somebody like Donald Trump, because he is very awkward and obnoxious, though, right? He is. He's totally awkward and obnoxious. <laughs> he's rude. And it's like that uncle... You know, that you wish would stop drinking at family parties because you go, oh, no, not Frank. And, and he, he just says whatever comes into his head, it just pops right out of his mouth. Or yeah. or on the Twitter, as the case may be. Um. Yeah. <laughs> Completely impulsive, you know, narcissist. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, I can see why that, you know, gets to your vanity uh, bone. I can see that. I can understand why trust and 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 why it get, it, it bucked them so bad. I they, understand that. They did what to them so bad? That it bucked them. Oh, it bugged them. To have okay. that uh, that obnoxious. Moon. <laughs> 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 now, now, now F Flash told me last week after the show. He said, oh, you're having a little trouble understanding my wife, huh? And I was like, Ew. well, I don't know. Uh, sometimes there's certain words that come out that I'm like, what? What'd you say? Uh, <laughs> I try to clarify, though. Like, yeah. Uh, so, um, I know you don't have that, um, uh, you don't have that vanity in you. Because you really don't. He does not represent me. He doesn't speak to me. He does. I'm not his audience. I'm not part of the cult, right? No. I, I, 
like I said, it doesn't matter. We, we, it doesn't care. And and they, they've got to be totally vain in order to run for president in the first place, right? To to believe that they know better than than 330 million other people, uh, that they they can they can make everything go a certain way if that's actually what they're believing uh, rather than what they're just saying. <laughs> yeah. 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 So I, you know, you get uh, various people in there that, uh, oh, man, I just, uh, and others I think are led down that road. You know, like uh, Reagan. I think they they were told that, yeah, you would be the right guy. You could lead the people. So he was convinced by others uh, that he could be that that kind of person. Uh, but whether... that's the story they want to tell about Trump with the QA non thing. Yeah, I read yeah, I don't really it on, and the whole setup was that they, the generals of America, of the military of America, called, you know, somehow got together, called up Donald Trump, and said, "We need somebody like you to take the United States back from the agencies." Yeah, and then he said, "No, I don't want to do it. It's too dangerous. I just want to lay naked in my golden bed." <laughs> don't let I'm not going to do this I'm happy and he, they kept going no no you have to save the country from the CIA and the Satanist occultist yeah and eventually he said okay I'll do it man and how did that go well that's the story from the QAnon though right yeah, so yeah I, now I, I've heard that who was it some Kennedy was apparently Q or they're they're, that's part of the the, the storyline. Um, who was that Kennedy that supposedly died, and then they're not sure he died, and now they said he's he's Q. JFK Jr. Thanks, Rob. Um, <laughs> yeah. So apparently he died, but he didn't really die, and he's now Q, and he's behind the scenes and uh, giving out all the information and. Now, now, somebody yeah. somebody said yesterday or posted a link maybe that WikiLeaks did a full on dump of all the information they had, but I've heard no more from it since then. So Ooh. if they actually had anything and it was there, um, where is it at? How come I'm not hearing anything about it? Uh, well, that's because the the purpose of the internet is coming to its completion, right? It seems to be, yeah. The all-time place to dump and destroy information in floods of disinformation and misinformation. But if it's on the internet, it has to be true. <laughs> right. <laughs> I, mean, I foresee uh, in the near future that the internet, that what you will see start popping up are little sanctuaries. You know, people are going to start trying to protect parts of the internet from interference. Yeah, well, we got those already, right? I mean, you got Minds. Minds is supposedly like a sanctuary from Facebook or RealLiberty.org, those kind of places. Uh, then, then you get these other. No, ones. I mean, like uh, like bolts. Like what? Like information bolts. You have them. You have them now all over the deep web, though, right? Yeah, I guess. But who's like like secure locked information bolts? But like if, but if somebody but. If, but you have to give access to somebody, right? Or the information in the vault's yes. no good. So if yes. you give access to somebody and and you get somebody you in there, compromise the security of the of the vault. Yeah. Yeah. So, or, or it just you know allowing that in. I mean, if it's in the vault all the time, it's sure it's safe, but it does not doesn't any good. <laughs> good does it do that? Yeah. And if you let the information out, then then it can be taken and used and manipulated to to yeah. you know disprove whatever it is your information was yep. so <laughs> i don't know. You know the uh this is funny though right because it's it information technology real right yeah yeah and the whole problem is another nlp thing though right because yeah, it's all about information and, um and interconnectedness right Right. But what reality is, the more communication and the more internet bullshit you get and the more social media and the more everything just turns into completely tainted crap. 
Right. And I did this. I did part. I was part of this many years ago, uh, back when that Norwegian idiot fucked hard. He shot those young kids on an island, right? Remember that idiot? Yeah, that uh, I don't know, white white supremacist guy. Yeah. Or at least that's and how he, that's how he was being portrayed. Whether he actually was that or not, I don't know. But he seemed oh, to have he a he seemed to have oh, a big thing against Muslims. Yeah, he uh, he wrote his, his manifesto, right? What what was his name? Uh, Anas Breivik. What? Anas Breivik. Yeah, it doesn't even sound real. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds very real. <laughs> Anders Breivik. See, I said it in American now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but but he wrote this manifesto, right? Yeah. And uh, he put it on the internet. Oh wait, or did and he it, write it, or did somebody else write it and put it out there? Uh, under his name. I tell you what I did. What? And what a lot of other people did, and what, what uh, 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 a fuckload of people did. We took that manifest, and I helped do this. So I am guilty in the mess that I am complaining about now. Um, I, I was well-meaning and an activist. Uh, I, I downloaded that one. I made a bunch of copies of it with different alterations, some of them completely goofy and rewrote big parts of the whole thing. Some of them I just rewrote certain or small parts, so it lost a little meaning here and there. And I dumped and spread that all over the Internet. And for what purpose? Under under the name of this is the real Anna Spivik manifest or this is uh, the non scammed because we were drowning out the real one. Making okay. it inaccessible for other people to read his hateful, filthy garbage. Okay, so so you that's were internet vandalism, right? That's information vandalism. Uh, well, yeah, sure. It's it's disinfo, uh, um, as <laughs> as is you know widely spread across the interwebs. Yeah. Um, so yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> I would never do that any <laughs> I was an activist. I I have I have seen the light of I don't give a fuck and um after my days of activism. Okay. So you are no longer activist in any manner. Well, I okay, well I'm going to be spreading love though, aren't I? Okay. Well, that's pretty activistic. Isn't it? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, I mean, especially in this world where where uh, hate and vitriol seems to to take over everything. Uh, yeah, yeah, spreading spreading love would be activist. Yeah. yeah. No, then I'm still an activist, but I I I try only to do good. But that's what the end. You know, you know how easy it is to make a campaign like that. Uh, very easy. Yeah, I just and get a ton of people to just start completely destroying some topic on the internet. Sure, that's 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 pretty much what most of the internet is. Is, is <laughs> somebody puts something up, somebody else destroys it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I don't know. Do you had a um, I don't know three years ago Google or was it two years maybe two or three years ago Google came out and um, well Anon came out or what's the operation which is like the activist. Um, community right right uh and and they wanted to turn google's algorithm against google so a lot of people started using google as a uh, cuss word or google you or google off or (laughs) 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 i I had not heard about that so uh (laughs) So, so you know after you know not very long google had to um alter their algorithms because it was starting to censor itself. <laughs> it's real fun though, right? So as more as you get these algorithms uh, controlling all this big part of what is now people's life, which is the internet, it becomes really easy to manipulate though. Yeah, so suck my Google. <laughs> suck my Google. <laughs> Google you. <laughs> Oh boy, that's good. I know that was way off topic, though. <laughs> well, not really. It's not really off topic because uh, when it, well, it's, it's if you if you if you look at uh, uh, topic idea number four, the masters are the same. Yes, it, it, it fits in very well with that. Of course, although yeah. we didn't speak about uh, or say the, the topic number three, the more things change, the more they stay the same. 
We've no, but I wrote a bunch of questions to that one. Did you? Yeah. And how would I know that? You wouldn't. Ah, okay. So what are your questions? Well, because you, number three is the more things change, the more they stay the same, right? Right. Um, so I'm just now we got this big change and the world changed. You know, we woke up and uh, woohoo, big change, right? So I was wondering about some of the more profound, bigger things. Um, you know, the ones that actually mean something in in a lot of human beings' lives, right? Right. And not just bullshit like vanity and 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 who's sticker one who right. Um, so I was wondering. So do you think this will uh, end all the wars, Grimnir? Hell no. Really? <laughs> not even close. Why? Why? How? And this will probably um, if, if if they actually do select Biden, you're going to have a lot more wars. Um, I mean that uh, yeah. see the selection, the selection process. In the way that I see it, anyway, uh, is when they when they say this guy is your your new president, your new leader. Uh, what they're doing is they're showing you because of the the rhetoric this guy's been spewing for however long. Uh, you know, kind of the direction that the masters want to go in, uh, more than saying that this guy's actually going to make whatever change or uh, keep whatever thing, uh, benefit whatever people. Uh, they're just showing you that this is the direction they want to go in. And and if it's Biden, uh, then you're going to go down uh, not only a, a more uh, socialist, which I don't, can't even imagine how much more socialist you could get, but um, also that uh, that Democrats are, are known, well known, uh, for being the war starters. Uh, and people always think it's the, the Republicans that are the war guys, but the Republicans are just... Uh, they're well, they're more known to uh, bomb the hell out of everything if they are in a war, but not necessarily to start wars. And if you look back through the numbers of which uh, party was in power, um... <laughs> but you're you know the U.S. is at war with seven countries right now, right? At least now, there's a whole bunch more that are not really spoken about. But yeah, I know I know that um, Trump have bombed seven countries, seven different countries. Right. And, and Obama bombed seven different countries. And uh, and Bush being the war president and an evil, aggressive uh, Bush that he was, uh, he bombed four countries. Yeah. But but the peace lover Obama bombed seven countries, right? Yeah, but but uh, see when and Trump when, didn't increase that number. When, when when Bush bombed countries, he really bombed countries. Um, he did. There was there was there was no off switch on Bush's bombings. There know. was nothing on Obama's either. Did you do you know how many drone strikes Obama did compared? Oh to Bush? yeah, he did a lot more of those. But yeah, um, yeah. But I but I mean, if you look at. Uh, you know, the, the well, maybe, Afghanistan. Yeah, course, maybe did the Moab. <laughs> Isn't that what you call them? Yeah, the mother of all bombs. I don't even understand there is such a word, but okay. Yeah, it, that doesn't actually mean what it means, but that's I said the, the common vernacular uh, used <laughs> for Moab is mother of all bombs, which, mm-hmm. uh, you know, whether or not that's actually uh, factual, because, I mean, it, it's a fuel bomb. It's a fuel air bomb. Um uh, that is exploded over the, you know. How? What? But that sounds horrible, though. It does sound horrible. <laughs> it, it, it is horrible. I mean, it just wipes out large areas of, of a real estate or, you know, people. And tell me again why we're doing this to other people. Because they can. Oh. Because they can. Okay, that makes sense. I, I mean, why, why would anybody ever start a war? I mean, it's it's uh, okay. And, and then we vote for these people, right? And they're going to change. Oh everything. yeah, you cheer them on. You see the people out there at the rallies cheering them on. Woo! This is my murderer. Um. Okay, I got another question though. Okay. Maybe this one will be better. All right. Um. So, so would this mean that central banks will no longer loot the citizens? No, not at all. 
Oh. They, they will actually loot in a very more efficient manner. <laughs> oh. But, but, that, but that's due to the advancement of technology and the technocracy. That's, that's, Do that's, you really that's... want your looters to be efficient? Is that like a... Uh, that's where I want to go with looting? Oh, yeah. They, they can steal from you without you ever knowing about it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> And and they can make you feel well, not me, but not me or you, but they can make a lot of people feel that if somebody is resisting or not allowing that theft to go on, there's that's a bad person for for not for resisting the theft. Oh, you didn't pay your taxes. You're a bad person. I was like, what? <laughs> and, but and, maybe we will just, you know, stop paying interest on our own money. You think maybe we can accomplish that with money? No, no, no. No. Certainly no. not. Yeah, the no. interest is there that is their currency. Um yeah. they you know, they they create the money of course out of nothing. Um and they, and they give it to to somebody because the people because they're the authority, the ones in charge of the creation of that money. And they'll loan it out to various countries to use uh, at at an interest rate, and so the money could never be paid back. So the, uh, there's there's no way around it other than uh, the destruction of the entire system, which of course we can't do. Um, but but doesn't you know doesn't it seem odd though that you would pay interest on your own money? Well, it's not your own money; they loaned it to you. Well, doesn't that seem odd? That you would that you that, own something that you could just easily do yourself. Well, it, it would seem odd if we didn't know that the people behind it were these evil bastards that run the world. Mm-hmm. That the ones no, that are suckers. those that are actually in charge, which is why the puppet head does not matter. <laughs> yeah. I got two more questions. All right, go ahead. Okay, um, maybe, maybe this. Well, well, okay, we'll we'll. Um, Will the U.S. stop funding the apartheid state that is Israel? They will not. Think that's going to happen. No, 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 no. No. Certainly not. <laughs> Certainly. So not. no justice for Palestine this time. Oh no, 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 no. That no. that's uh, Palestine will will be a a a little bookmark in history somewhere uh, before long. There's there's not much left now, and uh, I mean if you go back to the original um, takeover boundary lines that were set right after World War II um, and look at how much was Israel and how much was not Israel and look at it today, it's about 10% that is left, maybe maybe less than 10% uh, of that area that was apparently given to them, um, which already belonged to somebody else. Oh, we're going to give you this. Where'd you get it from? Well, there's people living there, but We'll just shove them off to the side. Um. <laughs> it's just because, you know, with all the wars and uh, and that central bank looting um, and all the money you pay to Israel, right? right. One would think that and, uh, and an economy that's not, you know, you know, that's, okay, let's say that is paying off a lot of hands down the downfall, you know, down the, you know, right? Right. You have an economy much like ours, where every trade and everything has to go through a thousand hands, so the money is so spread out, right? Yeah, sure. Each hand it goes through takes a little bit off of it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so I would assume. So maybe you know, with all this, maybe um, you think they're going to close some of those plus thousand military bases all around the planet? Unlikely. Oh. Uh, they'll probably create more. I mean. Rather than take some away, they'll probably make more. So how how is this big change, Grimner? What change is that? <laughs> yeah, 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 you mean you mean this this uh, election thing? Yeah, the and big I, change. How how I, it, it's not. See, oh. see that, well, that's what that's one of the things that uh, uh, you know all all of the Trump haters out there. Um, they, they, why do you hate him? Well, he's rude and obnoxious, and he's a racist and a misogynist. Okay, but what has he done that affects your life personally? 
well, he's a bad guy. He's got orange hair and he <laughs> plays golf and 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 I, I don't like him. Uh, okay, but what has he done to to uh, do anything worse than Obama or Bush or Clinton or the other Bush or Reagan or, or Carter or Ford or Nixon or uh, LBJ and JFK? Yeah, they're all horrible. Every one of them is horrible. You can go all the way back to George freaking Washington. Yeah, because all you have to do is take all of those and all their opponents, so-called opponents, right? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, and then you start figuring out, you go like 50 years back and take all the president and their opponents and start writing down what their programs was, right? Right. And figure out what all these people had in common. Well, I, and yeah, that's you a pretty do, good indication of what kind of project you are supporting here. Right. All you got to do is read Agenda 21 and now Agenda 2030. But uh, if you look at Agenda 21 and, and see the goals that are stated in it, um, you, and, and, you, and you look, okay, we had this president, that president, that one, this is from this party, and that was from that party, the, but the agenda keeps getting forwarded. Uh, there, there, there's, there's no variance there in, in, what, no. in what the goals set out by the globalist groups, the CFR, the, all the various, the Bilderbergs, all of those, that 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 put together Agenda Twenty One, and you see the direction they wanted to go. It keeps going further and further towards achieving all of the bullet points uh, in 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 that. It also is in the, now in Agenda Twenty Thirty, the updated version of Agenda Twenty One. Um, yeah. So so it, it just don't matter. Uh, you, you guys can you know jump up and down and not like this guy or think this guy's gonna you know take away all your whatevers or not. Uh, this this guy's gonna uh, give you some more benefits or rights. It, the face, it's just a face. It's just a, it's just a sham wild salesman. Uh, but it, but his wife is so invested though, right? She's Jill? all about, you know, uh, military soldiers and, and veterans and, and and all that fun stuff. Yeah, you know, pawns. Those are those all pawns that war we talked and about. Stuff. She's just, you know, all about that. That, that Jill, Jill Biden? Yeah. I, I, I didn't know. I, I have no idea what she's about. Well, she's, she's, uh, she has a lot of foundations and funds and stuff for, um, Ex-military and and such. Oh, I see. I had no idea. No, no. Yeah. I don't uh, know. I was reading it in Danish. Well, good. Kind of I, 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 it's good that you know about this stuff. I don't care about it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> personally, <laughs> you know. Uh, I'm very fascinated by um, uh, the acceptance. And, and glorification of war. Oh, okay. Well, they all love it's it. They all love the war um, in, in one way or another, whether they admit it or not, or whether they start new wars or not. Uh, they they all love the war. They all love supporting the military. Uh, they they all like the jackbooted police beating people down, whether, you know, even though they say, oh, we got to fix this. Uh, uh, so mm -hmm. uh, here's one thing I'm thinking that that is a little uh, side topic um if if biden is actually selected and uh, put into the the white house he's he's a senile old guy and he won't last long uh, <laughs> whether whether it's from um natural causes or, or uh, non not so natural causes so then uh when he goes away uh then, then camilla camel toe um, you uh, have a you have a special place for her in your heart. Oh, she's disgusting. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> so 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 she she would be then put into position of of, of uh, president, and she would have to select a new vice president. But right? you're gonna have a uh, for the first time you're gonna have a uh, male pilf. Male, oh, I guess. Uh, <laughs> I, I, is she is she married? Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. See, I didn't know. Yeah, to this uh, white dude who's all behind her and really proud. Okay, good for him. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, so she'll she'll be appointed 
president, and then and then she would have to get to select the vice president. And who do you think that would be? Um, another one of those females. Who yeah, I'm thinking Hillary. Oh, Hillary! Hillary is dead. Well, uh, it's, it's a real one, but the fake one. Um, <laughs> uh, they're gonna blow up that one again. <laughs> yeah. So so anyway so so. I would I would assume Hillary would be the selected VP. Which, but in all fairness, though, nobody voted for Biden. Uh, well, right, they they voted against Trump, right? Um, they voted against Trump, or they voted for for that Mrs. Harrison, or Harris, or what her name? Yeah, maybe I guess I don't know why anybody would like her. She's whatever. Trump um, just wrote that. He said he's he was voting for that Camilla. Woman. Okay, good. Well, that's good. Yeah. He's he's a little nuts, though, you know. They are. But, Just okay. ask him. He'll See, tell I, you. He'll tell you he's crazy. Ain't that right, Rome's? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so 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 so. If, I don't think she would do a bad job, though. Who? I don't think she'd be worse than the old fart guy. Oh no no no! They're all ter- terrible. It doesn't matter. And at least you have a pilf. <laughs> it, it, it does. It doesn't matter. Uh, so so so. So Kamala picks Hillary to be VP, and what what is Hillary known for? Um, she's known for uh, corruption. She and, deals and murder. She's known for yeah. murder. So she <laughs> so so if so if I was Cameltoe, I I would do my best not to allow Hillary in there because if Hillary was a heartbeat away, well, yes, eating babies too, but um, if Hillary was a heartbeat away from, from from the presidency, which she wants more than anything in the world for reasons. Oh, uh, then you're off with your head. Yeah, and, then, then camel toes is, you know, uh, an endangered species. Do you that, know how many presidents you just, you know, whacked off in one sentence? I didn't whack off any presidents. They're whacking themselves. <laughs> <laughs> they can whack themselves off all they want. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. <laughs> when was the last time somebody tried to whack an American president? Oh uh, well, ago. Reagan. Reagan, I think he was the last one. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I could. You know, was, uh, see, Hinkley. when you had Reagan, uh, Europe, we had our own mess, though, right? I don't know. Did you? Margaret Thatcher, though, right? Well, she wasn't your... I mean, she was, you know, Britain's, but not yours. No, but all... You know, even Scandinavia, everything took a conservative turn then. Is that right? So we had our own Thatcher. Ah. Everything just went conservative with uh, with Reagan. So you have a um, queen. Remember. You have a queen. We have a queen. But you also have a prime minister. Yes. Okay. So we like, have a prime yeah, minister like, rest. So, so it's basically the same as Britain. She's a female. Our prime minister right now is a female. Okay. Well, yeah. let me tell you this. this is that that uh, prime minister of England right now, Bo- Bojo Bo- Boris Johnson. <laughs> oh, he he is. He's a bad dude. He's a bad dude. <laughs> and he looks like something out of a British sitcom, right? He does. He does. Yeah, yeah, he's like, <laughs> I can see him on Benny Hill or whatever, you know. Um. Yeah, <laughs> he's Mr. Bean's best friend from oh, the Big Fire Island. Huh? What a creep! Yeah. Anyway, he he well, is a he, German's president. You know, uh, Angela Merkel. Merkel. She oh. looks like uh, Paul McCartney. Yeah, yeah, she does. It's she does. so weird. Yeah. yeah, yeah, they're all terrible. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what country you're in. Uh, they're all they're all horrible. Um. But they're getting more and more decadent, though. Yeah, well, they're I'm, becoming more and more like the old bloodlines because I the have worlds no pro- are I have decadent no, and weird. I have no problem with decadence. You don't? <laughs> no. Um, uh, yeah, I yeah. Think, uh, um, uh, I I would be a hedonist if if I had the uh, the means to do so. <laughs> I I uh, I have shame. You have what? I suffer from shame. Oh. Yeah. Okay. I would have too much shame uh, to be taken Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Well, we'll have to save the rest for next week. Uh, oh. What, well, what we're going to un- unpack that decadence. Okay. Yeah. Well, we'll we'll do some decadence next week. We'll cover <laughs> we'll cover hedonism. 
Ooh. <laughs> All right, folks. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. It's been a lot of fun uh, doing this show about various topics that mean nothing. Um, and one thing, though, right? What? Just remember, everybody, stay calm. And remember, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. <laughs> I, I'll be putting uh, Larkin Rose's... Uh, uh, video into the post show blog so you guys can check that all out later if you haven't seen it already. Um, and uh, let's see what's coming up this week. Nothing tomorrow. Nothing Wednesday. Thursday is is dropping a coil. Friday, Freakers Ball. We should be back. Um, <laughs> we we take this week off. Hopefully, oh no, there won't be a dork table because because Grammy. Unless somebody else wants to sit in with Flash. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, check the schedule on Real Liberty Media. I probably need to update that, but, uh, whatever. Thanks again. So, um, y'all have a great rest of your day. Yeah. Be safe. Yeah. Be safe. Be wonderful. Be awesome. Be you. <laughs> Even you, duh. Even you, duh. <laughs> All right. Peace.